Hey YouTube, I am Tatiana and I'm back with a video today and um, this video today is actually going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be doing a um, review on any product or any hair or anything like that. Um, it's actually different because I'm just going to be telling um, kind of like my story of this situation and um as you can tell in the dis in the um by the title um it's gonna be about how i'm allergic to acrylic nails so basically you know my first set of acrylic nails was when i was nine years old and of course, it wasn't anything major or anything like that. It, they were really short, really simple, really cute. Um, but it wasn't anything major. So I've pretty much been wearing um, acrylic nails on and off since then over the years. And it's been, I don't know, maybe like 15 years I've been wearing them on and off. And... I never really had a problem with acrylic nails until um, recently, probably in the past year. Um, I kind of started back up again with wearing um, acrylic nails. And um, I think within the last year is when I started to notice that I was having allergic reactions to the nails. And at first, I really didn't pay it any mind because I was like okay well it's not that bad so there's nothing to worry about so I kept getting them and it seemed like every time that I would get them it like the allergic reaction would be a little bit worse every time and um at that point I was like okay this is not fun anymore because basically what happens is when I scratch my body, um, anywhere on my body, when I scratch, I will um, kind of like either break out into hives or I will get like this really bad rash where I scratch at with the nails and it would get, um, it would get red. It would get really, really red and it would basically like welt up really, really bad. So it started to get worse and worse and so I had tried, you know how when you go in the salon and you ask for gel nails, but they're not really gel nails, they're acrylic nails with gel polish on the top. I was doing that and I'm still allergic to that. And so instead of doing that, I tried, um, I started trying like the dip powder nails and which I had no clue exactly what I was allergic to in um, like the ingredients in the nails. I didn't know what I was allergic to exactly. So I was like, okay, well Maybe dip powder will work better for me. So I started trying that and At first the allergic reaction wasn't as bad as like with the acrylic gel nails but the second I think it was like the second or the third time that I had got the dip powder nails um, the rash became worse, just like the regular acrylics. And then come to find out, the dip powder basically is acrylic. <laughs> so, of course, I'm allergic to that too. So, um, I just figured that, you know, with me having an allergic reaction to acrylic nails... I wasn't going to be able to wear nails anymore and that would break my heart that would really break my heart so I started doing um, research on other products different types of um, nails that they have out there different types of ingredients and stuff like that started doing research on that and it took me some time to figure out what I should do because I don't want to give up nails, especially because I'm allowed to wear them with my job. I don't want to give them up. So um, before I tell you um, a new product that I found, like nail-wise, um, 
I'm going to insert some pictures right here um, just to show you the allergic reactions and stuff that I kind of had. Um, I did get some pictures. I didn't get all of the allergic reactions I had, but um, I did get some pictures. In, and, you know, some allergic reactions were worse than others. But, um, yeah, I'm going to insert the pictures here. Okay, so now that you've seen, you know, the rashes that I had um, from the acrylic nails, um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I've recently started to use um, that I'm trying out currently. And basically, um, I'm trying out like actual gel nails, um, not acrylic with gel polish. It's actual gel nails. It's like kind of like sticky stuff but it's not I don't think it's regular gel nail or gel yeah <laughs> I don't think it's regular gel um basically um and when I found it, it I guess it's called either hybrid gel or poly gel and so um that's what I ordered um online off of Amazon and I decided to try because some reviews seem decent. Some people said um, that they can use, you know, the poly gel and it doesn't give them an allergic reaction. So I decided to try it. So basically, the name of it is um, Gersion. I think that's how you pronounce it. Gersion Poly Gel. And I got pretty much a whole kit in which I will insert the picture of what it looks like okay so that's what the um the poly gel gersion poly gel kit looks like i got it um from amazon for i think it was about I think it, it was between 30 and $40. It was like, I think it was closer to $40. Um, but that includes the whole kit. So it includes um, the gels. They, it came with like six different color gels. Um, it came with the tool that I needed. It came with the brush. Um, it came with the, I don't know how you say those nail things, but like the former things. The nail former things I don't know what they're called exactly but it came with everything pretty much and so I've been trying this so far and um, I don't have them on all my nails yet I only have them on a few nails um, just because I've been so busy I haven't had time to do all of my nails yet but so far with the nails that I've done it on I have not noticed an allergic reaction at all and I'm so happy about that. We'll see, you know, we'll see how it, it goes as time goes on. But as of right now, I've been wearing it for about a week, I believe. And um, with the nails that I did with the poly gel, I haven't, I haven't had any allergic reaction. Um, so I'm just going to kind of show you my nails, what I did so far. So this is um, what I did with the poly gel. These are the nails that I did. Um, the only thing that I'm noticed though, noticing though is that they're kind of cracking on the side. I don't know if you could see that, but they're kind of cracking on the side and um, it's really not good because, you know, my nails kind of breaking on the sides. If you guys have any suggestions of um, what I can do to kind of help, help that and prevent it from happening, um, please do give me some suggestions in the comment box because I don't know what to do. And this is my first time doing these nails. Um, and by the way, I just put the poly gel over my real nails because these are my real nails. So this was my first time doing it and it turned out pretty great actually. It turned out pretty good. Some of them, I feel like a couple of them I need to redo. Um, 
but it turned out really really good and then these are the nails they're really old they're like three weeks old but these are the um the acrylic powder dip powder nails that i still have on and these they're just not good for me so these are all i did so far i still have to do the rest of my nails still um it does take me a little bit longer just because it I, i'm new to kind of doing my own nails and i'm new to doing poly gel and the the texture is a little bit different than like um regular acrylic just a little bit so anyways i'm a beginner anyway so it takes me a while to do each individual nail so yeah basically that's it that's my that's my story on how I am allergic to acrylic nails. But yeah, if you guys like this video, um, if you thought it was helpful for you guys, um, go ahead and, and hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up, please. Also, go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, because I post videos every Sunday. And um, yeah, the videos might feature some content that you might like. So yeah, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you can get notifications when I post new videos. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.